Yo, what's going on guys? It's JDooth here. The creative mode expert freaking dude. I don't even know what you guys call me. Today I have a very special video. Before I do start, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 200,000 subscribers. That's a number I never thought I would hit, especially like this quick. We just hit 100,000 like two weeks ago. So to hit 200,000 in literally like such a short period, it's like actually insane. So a huge shout out to you guys. I'm going to keep grinding and make videos every single day and live streams. Today I got a special project I'm going to be working on. This is a duo death run, but it's a little bit different than uh, what you guys might be familiar with. This is a project I was thinking of for quite a while. Basically, I wanted to make a two-player death run that you have to compete with your teammate in order to get a fast time for prizes. As you guys can see the little layout right here, we have this green side and we have this purple side. Now, I kind of built this to give you guys an idea before I start building the actual course, but right here in the middle, you guys get uh, bouncers. Now, with these bouncers, each side gets one bouncer. With these two bouncers, you bring them over to this red section. One teammate will place it here on the bottom, and one other teammate will place it here on this middle part. And then it'll take you up to this part. As soon as you put on the snowman on both teammates, the run is over. So you're working together with your teammate to make it to the end. I thought it was a really cool idea. It's gonna be really fun to get your friends involved. I know a lot of death runs are like solo players, so this one is actually really cool. It actually encourages you guys to play with your friends. If you guys do not have a duo partner, go ahead and check the comment section. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that need uh, someone else to work with. So yeah, just check those comments, man. We also have the Discord you guys can check out. It's in the description. But yeah, guys, I'm super excited for this project. It's something I've been wanting to make for a while now i see a lot of like duo death runs coming out lately but they're a little bit different than this one this one you actually have to like literally work together in order to beat it we're also working on another project but i'm gonna keep that one a secret but this is basically like a little taste of that one i don't know why i just fill in those walls when i don't even think that's what i do but uh yeah today i think we're gonna work a little bit here on this green side and then probably in like another stream or an upload will work on the, the other side for you guys. If you guys are excited for this map, by the way, I would really appreciate you guys smashing a like. Let's try to get up to 5,000 likes. That'd be highly appreciated. So what I decided to do, guys, is put the checkpoint spawners right here and right here. So that way, once you guys go down and hit that checkpoint spawn, you can never go back up to this area and, you know, potentially like cheat or go to like the other side. This keeps it pretty fair for if you guys are in a contest. So if there's going to be like an official run, Basically, both teammates could be right here, and as soon as they say go, you're just going to jump off and uh, start going, I guess. I'll probably have this checkpoint marker up here. That way, both players can stand on it, and then uh, just go at the same time. That would probably make it the most fair. So let's go ahead and build this. I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to make one side a little bit easier and one side a little bit harder. That way, you have to figure out what works best for you and your, your partner. Or I might have certain things on one side, like maybe trap levels on one side, and then, uh, you know, speed things on another side. So I think we'll start this green side off with something pretty simple. I'm going to use a movement modulator, and we'll go ahead and put this, like, right here. Now, the big thing of both sides is there's only going to be one checkpoint. So if you cannot make it to the very end in one go, you're going to have to start all the way back here, which is really going to slow down you and your partner. So I got to keep that in mind when I'm making these levels. I can't make them super impossible. We're going to go ahead and uh, take out some walls here. I'll catch up with you guys in like a second after we build like a little layout here. All right, guys. So we decided to make a little zigzag thing here with the speed pad. Basically, we're gonna have traps on the floor as well. But I think at the very end, I just realized this is really slow. What am I doing? It's been a while since I worked with these, so we gotta make the speed super fast. We'll make this last like 20 seconds. We can always add something at the very end to uh, slow you guys down. But basically, you're gonna run through just like this. Do a little bit of zigzags and then boom. This is where it's gonna go into like a different section. I don't want you guys getting the bouncer that easy. So what we'll do here, we'll probably have it go off this direction. Probably have to get rid of this thing, maybe. Who knows? So this is where we're gonna have another room. I'm gonna do a little bit more building. I'll catch up with you guys in just one more second. Keep in mind, we're gonna do all the walls and like the roofs off video so you guys don't have to watch that boring stuff. I think this level, <laughs> we're gonna do an impulse level. One of my favorites. I don't know if you guys are gonna like it too much, but it's something I wanna have in my death run. I'll tell you guys what though. I'll tell you guys what. I'll make this a really easy impulse level. Level. It's not gonna be something super crazy. I understand this is gonna be pretty tough as it is So let's go ahead and add a uh, item spawner right here All right, so we got the first simple jump just like this. It's gonna go into something else over here I think and then we'll have one final one going up over this direction. Let's go ahead and build this really quick Okay, guys, so I think we got these all in place You're gonna grab three impulses do three simple little jumps here. I think this is fairly simple for the green side and one final jump just like that you might potentially be able to go from a shortcut from right here I'm not gonna show you guys exactly how to do it But keep that in mind you guys can probably do a shortcut. I do like having shortcuts and death runs It makes it kind of a creative way to uh, get your own faster times uh, I think what we're gonna do for this side is add like a little bit of a trap tunnel We'll keep this trap tunnel pretty basic here. We're probably just gonna have like one little set of traps just like this 
Just something like kind of slow people down a little bit. That way they're not going too fast. Yeah, I totally meant to put bouncers there. That's awesome. All right, so we're gonna have this little trap tunnel go into like a little like li like seriously like a mini mini dropper. This is not hard at all. Uh, let's go ahead and add something to jump through. Something like not too difficult. So you do your trap baiting and you just jump on through here. Boom, just like that. And then we'll have you guys go into like another, I think, either trap tunnel or something else right here. I'm not actually too sure we're going to add. Yo, guys, it's kind of random, but as I'm filming this video, we actually did just hit 200,000. So that's freaking awesome. Let's freaking go, dude. Thank you guys so much once again. That's like actually insane. So I'm going to keep grinding, keep making awesome videos for you guys. All right. So after you do like the little trap tunnel on the dropper level, it's going to send you to these little speed pads, which are going to send you over to the first bounce pad. This will be the bounce pad for the first team. Keep in mind, if you guys do die, I think we're going to have it so you keep your inventory. You just have to go through the entire course again in order to make it all the way to the end, if that makes sense. So now that you guys have the bouncer, we got to figure out what we're going to do on uh, this section before you make it all the way to the red area. From here, what I think we're going to do is like a little sliding level. We'll keep it nice and fun. So we're going to need a ramp for sure. We need something to go up. We need to get some height. All right, we're going to add the rest of the traps in here, but this is the basic idea. I think when you hit this bouncer, I might have like a door or something to go through because this is a little bit too easy. I'll show you guys exactly what it looks like for now. You do your little trap baiting over here. You get to the chiller. And right here, honestly, is just like jumping. Uh, can you make it through? Yeah, you can. I think what I need to add is uh, some speed pads like right at the end of this thing. So as soon as you land down here, you're going to get a little bit more speed and then we'll slide into like the next area. I'm not too sure if I'm liking it so far. I think what we could do is have this go up like a little speed wall and get it some height. And then we'll have like another dropper level or something above in the sky. Yeah, I think we'll do something like this. Having all the speed pads bring you upstairs. I feel like it was a little bit too easy how it was. This is supposed to be like the easy side. Keep that in mind. That way, if you're playing with someone that never done death runs before, they can go ahead and uh, beat this level for you guys. Okay, we'll throw this up here. I think that'll be good. All right, so we have the layout right here. Basically, after you do this little sliding level, it's going to shoot you upstairs up here. This is where we're going to have like another section. I'm not too sure what we're going to do with it yet. We have a little bit of room. We can actually extend it out this way if we do need to. And then um, from here, it kind of brings you back to this section where you can put down the bouncer. I think this is actually probably good enough for the green side because it is supposed to be easier. Um, let's go ahead and build a little bit here and see what we can make happen. All right. So after this sliding level, we have a little bit of trap baiting. This is nothing too serious. It's literally just going to be this little section. And then uh, what you're going to do from here, you're going to hit this bouncer jump up into the speed boost you might have to do it twice if you don't make it you got to do a little bit of this i don't even know what you would call this this reminds me of like a little hedgehog you pretty much have to go in these little holes dodging the traps it's pretty unique i never saw this done um we'll probably have another one like right here but yeah that's basically gonna take you to the end this is simple death run stuff it's nothing too crazy i think a lot of people are gonna be able to finish this i'm gonna add all the walls after i don't feel like doing it on this video but you guys get the idea of how this level is gonna be laid out so basically a little run through you grab that bouncer back there you bring it through all of this as soon as you get to this red area with the bouncer you're just gonna grab it and place it right here now once your other teammate meets you when you grab this bouncer you're gonna both go up and he's going to place the other bouncer right here. It's going to send you up here. And you guys get the snowman. As soon as you guys put the snowman on, that ends the run. It's pretty cool. You literally have to work together for your teammate to beat this death run. I really like it. It encourages you guys to play for friends. We're going to be working on this map during our live streams during the week. And to hopefully get this for you guys very soon. We made a lot of progress on this so far. There might be some more stuff I'm going to add over here. But you guys got to keep in mind, there is no checkpoint. So you have to do this all perfectly. I think it's a pretty good difficulty for now. It's not too hard. So I think we'll keep it. That actually is going to wrap up today's video though, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Like I said earlier, I'd really appreciate if we can get 5,000 likes on today's video that'd be awesome if you guys want me to keep doing these death run videos for you guys and making more maps make sure you guys let me know by dropping a like anyways it's been jdu thank you guys so much again for 200,000 subscribers that means so much to me my original goal for the end of the year was like a hundred thousand so to be at 200,000 in like literally one month it's it's crazy thank you guys so much for the support i will keep making videos for you guys it's been jdu here your favorite death run dude i'll catch you guys later peace out everybody